Hey guys, I'm Isil Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. All right, so this time I'm gonna try DPL and PDIM, which both actually gives our label the pulley line, okay, any type pulley line, which means we can give dimensions to a pulley line. Like you can say, if I'm gonna try DPL, okay, I'm gonna type DPL in the command bar and then I'm gonna press enter and then I'm gonna select this pulley line. Just just look at this, this, this is very amazing, okay? You can see the dimensions these are label pretty amazing okay and another one that is known by the uh, pdim which is of course the pulley line dimensions you can say and i'm gonna press enter and then i'm gonna select this this one the yellow one pulley line and i'm gonna press enter again and boom that's pretty amazing okay a very quick process okay Th these list command are so quick okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna little bit uh, let me do it um, undo okay okay so these are list command you can download from my uh, google drive i'm gonna upload the link and i'm gonna provide the link in the video description how to use it okay when you download it just type upload in the command bar like you can say uh, wait a minute upload i'm gonna type upload in the command bar and then i'm gonna press enter you, you can see of course the load and unload application dialog box appear okay and then you're gonna navigate to the folder okay uh, where you have the list command you can say this time i have the list commands over here in the uh, list folder okay one is known by the dpl okay this is just the dimensions of pulley line you can say you're gonna click date and you're gonna upload or you can say you're gonna just click this load and then make sure the dpl list successfully loaded okay this uh, message must be confirmed over here. All right, then you're gonna click this uh, close. Okay, that's ready now, okay? You're gonna type DPL in the command bar and then press enter. And then if you don't know what to do, just look at the command bar. It's asking select pulley line to dimension. I'm gonna select this one and bam, that's pretty amazing, okay? Just look at that. It's gonna label all the dimensions, I mean, uh, gonna provide the horizontal and vertical distances between um, each vertices you can see these guys that's pretty amazing okay and another one I'm gonna do again upload just upload type upload in the command bar press enter and then I have uh, another one which is PDIM and it is of course pulley line dimensions I'm gonna click load and then I'm gonna close okay and then I'm gonna type PDIM in the command bar. Okay, press enter and I'm gonna select this pulley line and just look at that. That's pretty amazing, okay? Just look at the distances. Uh, if you do it manually, okay, from the dimensions, from, from here, from the dimensions, it's gonna take a lot of time, okay? And this is really time saver, you can say. You can do it for um, uh, any close, like you can say if this is a rectangle, you can do it of course like i'm gonna say pdim and then just look at this wow that's pretty amazing okay it is very quick of course and another one just let me do it a wrap work over here let's say this is a property okay a close property and again i'm gonna use pdim and bam that's amazing okay last time i'm gonna use i mean i'm gonna use dpl okay let's say this is a pull line a you can say a rough pulley line like this one okay and i'm gonna use dpl just just look at this magic that's pretty amazing look at the distances look at the dimensions okay just label pretty amazing okay that's it just download these two list command and uh, these are free you can download it from the uh, google drive my google drive okay the link is down below in the video description just do it.